locally produced renewable transportation fuels are gaining attention in the Pacific Northwest. Advanced Hardwood Biofuels Northwest is working to develop a regional industry for biofuels and bio-based chemicals made from poplar trees. Cellulosic ethanol may be the first poplar-based biofuel to appear on the market, as it is the cheapest and simplest biofuel to produce from wood. Currently, most ethanol sold in the Pacific Northwest is made from Midwestern corn. Poplar trees may provide an opportunity to produce this more locally. We're very excited about the opportunities for being able to create cellulosic ethanol and more broadly fuels that use either waste kinds of materials such as wood residues or woods that are grown on land that otherwise wouldn't be used for agriculture. So it's not competing with food but creates real opportunities for rural communities. AHB's industry partner Ziachem has been fine-tuning their process to make ethanol at their demonstration biorefinery in Boardman, Oregon. Where we're standing today is a demonstration facility and the intent of this facility and its smaller scale, 250,000 gallon per year capacity, was to prove the commercial viability of the Ziachem process. And we have done that. Ziachem plans to expand their production and build a commercial scale facility that will produce cellulosic ethanol from Greenwood Resources' nearly 25,000 acre poplar tree farm. Greenwood is investigating ways to sustainably grow poplar for bioenergy. We like poplar because, uh, first of all, um, it's got a, a real high growth rate, so it doesn't require as much acreage. It's uh, a relatively little input. You know, we're growing poplar trees without fertilizer for the most part. It's a relatively clean feedstock for the biorefinery, and the sugars, the carbohydrates in there, are relatively easy to extract. To decrease the cost of production and increase sustainability, Researchers are studying the best varieties of poplar to grow on marginal land without irrigation. Transitioning from research to commercialization can be challenging for the biofuels industry. With oil at 55, 60 bucks a barrel, and right now there's no cost associated with emitting carbon, it's going to be really tough to compete. But you never know. I mean, the Middle East is unstable. Fracking could change. The price of oil could change in, in a heartbeat. The biggest challenge is policy. The grain ethanol industry and even the cellulosic ethanol industry developed because of federal policy. Because those policies appear to be in flux, the processing companies are reluctant to make big investments. I mean, these are huge investments into these plants. And if you put a billion dollars into a plant and the government policy changes, and you have a sunk investment but no policy to create the market pull for your product. That's a very unwise decision. The low carbon fuel standard in California, the clean fuels program in Oregon, and a similar policy proposed in Washington state put restrictions on the type of fuel sold in each state in order to meet their targeted greenhouse gas reductions. As these policies require greater quantities of low carbon fuels, markets will develop for renewable fuels produced here in the Northwest. We're working with a lot of communities and citizens and leaders in the Northwest who recognize we're at a crossroads. They are very thirsty for solutions. They're thirsty for how we can be creating investments in clean and efficient energy technologies. Building an ethanol industry in the Pacific Northwest may help pave the way for other advanced biofuels.